So welcome everybody. Today is August the 27th, 2020. And you're listening to a new human experience podcast. And tonight's theme is responsibility. So responsibility um, is, is kind of the, the part four of this whole August. The theme of August is really um, simple habits that is going to grow our consciousness. So this the habit of taking responsibility. And um, responsibility has kind of a, a bad reputation because I remember growing up, I don't want to be responsible for for anything. Like I don't want to be responsible for my brother, you know, um, because a lot of the times when my brother gets into trouble, I am implicated as well because in my mother's mind that I am responsible for him because if I see him doing anything that he's not supposed to do, I'm supposed to stop him. But you know, I am was only five. How am I supposed to do that? So responsibility um, in a lot of ways has a bad reputation because on some level we um, have been associating responsibility with being at fault or liable um, and, and um, having to pay for if anything goes wrong um, over what it is that we're supposed to be responsible for, then we actually would get punished. We will get, you know, we are liable for that. So that's why responsibility kind of have maybe not at um, like on some level on an, and even like, subconscious and not to so subconscious level there is this bad rap about responsibility and that's why i want to as in the beginning talk about what i what do i mean by responsibility so when i talk about responsibility it is in the area of consciousness so we are the creator of our own reality um, I don't know whether, like, how familiar you are with this concept or how much you actually take this concept, um, or you understand whether you understand this concept or not. But we actually, we literally create our own reality, each and every one of us. We, each and every one of us, are source creator. And we, each and every one, is an aspect of source creator. It's like we, um, there is reality. You can think of reality as, you know, being a, let's say, a 360 degrees mirror that, or a dome. So, so that wherever it is that you see, it, it, it is a, um, you see reality all around you. So the so reality is really all of your eyes can see and we are each an aspect of the creator source that actually um, projected and created this reality it is just that each and every one of us is um, looking at this reality from a very unique point of view and so we all actually have the capacity to shape our reality. And also at the same time, we exist in a shared reality. So um, because I don't just create, um, so it's like I can see from my point of view, certain reality in a certain way. However, um, from my consciousness, though, I may not be able to see all of, cre of reality. However, um, all the other aspects of me, which is the as all the other aspects of, um, of source, the creator source, they each create or and interpret what it is that is from their point of view. That's how we all each and everyone create our own reality as well as exist in a shared reality. And so all have um, all possible, 
all possible combination of reality coexist simultaneously. In reality, the reality that you focus your attention on is the reality that you will experience most of all of, um, the firsthand experience. And so that's why last week I talked about attention because um, attention is part of creating our reality. You are responsible for what you focus on and whatever you focus on, you will create an experience as well, depending on what is within you, what kind of, um, you know, how you have been brought up to interpret the, the, um, the energies around you. And so that's how you project this, this reality. So that's one aspect of what responsibility means. And another way of really saying more about res responsibility is really contrasting, contrasting the difference between being responsible versus being, versus reacting. So let's say, um, for example, if the, the um, something happens, our first, like if we're not prepared for something, then our first way of um, responding is really reacting. We are reacting from being surprised. We are reacting from whether that, that situation is good in, in terms like in, that we re interpret that as being good or whether we interpret that as being bad. So then we react. So most of the time, our um, first instinct is to react. And it really takes a lot of consciousness to refrain or at the very least uh, recover from the reaction. And when we get to the part where we stop reacting, we stop um, looking at what's happening from the point of view of all the, 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 the previous experiences and previous um, programming, I would say, programming of, um, of how to, to interpret um, something as being good or bad, then once we have recovered from that point of view, once we have stopped or at least um, you know, put the, our reaction on hold, and start to understand more about what is actually happening because something happening, um, it is my belief that whatever it is that happens, if it happens for like, if it happens um, within your reality, then it happens for you. So that's a big difference. It, it, the difference is that things does not happen to you, whereas it actually happens for you. It happens for you because it's for you to notice and grow from that point on. So, so that's why um, there is this this, this, there is this um, differentiation between reacting versus being responsible. A lot of people, I would say most people react to a situation. However, to be responsible, it's, it's really taking it to the next level. So let's say um, I want to give you a, a, um, for, for example, let's say if there's a fire in your house. So, of course, if there's a fire, your first reaction is put out the fire. However, after all that is done, let's say if it's only a meek because you reacted, uh, you, you took action quickly. So it was like very few damage in, in all of that. However, um, if you just stop from reacting, if you just stop there because you're only reacting to the fire and when there's no fire, then there is no more action. However, that does not mean that um, you actually solve the problem because a fire does not just break out in the middle of your house for no good reasons. There has to be a reason why something happened. The fire 
happened for you so that you can look at when you tick the responsibility of really um, finding out how come there's a fire, what caused it. And maybe this time it was just a small fire because you're home, you caught it right away. So, however, the next time, um, if you do not find out what the, the underlying causes are, that is um, that 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 fire broke out. It could be um, that there is the wiring in the house is old, or it could be there is um, some some kids next door, you know, um, doing something maybe. So you have to find out what's the reason, and to be responsible is to really take the actions to the next level so that you um, can prevent uh, not just to take action because something is wrong, but to take action so that you um, can support the reality that you actually want to create. And the reality you want to create is you want to create a safe and peaceful um, environment in your home. So then the, the responsible thing is to really look at how come there is a fire and do whatever it takes to um, minimize and prevent the, the course of another fire. So this is just an example. So what I want to actually bring out is that when you react you are actually at the effect of the situation because you're only taking action. You're taking action because you have been affected by the, the situation. So you take action to, so that the, the situation does not um, affect you anymore. However, um, there are actually actions that you can take so that you can shift yourself away from being at the effect of a situation and shift the your role into being the creator of your own reality and when you get to the point where you can let go of being at the effect meaning that feeling like you are a victim of the the of the circumstances and actually get to the point where you take responsibility and take responsibility for everything that happens to you that happens in your environment and take action as well instead of just reacting is to actually positively take action in order to um, let go of being the victim and start being the creator of your environment. So taking responsibility is really to realize that um, everything that happens to you, everything that um, is for you, that happens in your reality, is actually, is kind of like, um, how should I say it? It's like your everything that happens in your reality is like a picture or a tapestry for you to it's it's a scenery in front of you. And what this scenery is, it's actually reflects what's within you. What you're seeing outside of you is actually what is within you. So if you look at it that way then and um, take actions and from that point of view then you are actually becoming responsible and being the creator of your own reality so things that you can do actions that you can do um, to beyond re reacting from something is really to take a look at the thought patterns, any thought patterns that you may have, which can be um, construed as con contributing to creating, creating a situation or an event. And what you can do is once you, you notice that, oh, okay, this 
happens. Um, and it's because I subscribe to certain thought patterns. That's why I maybe I did not um, did directly cause something to happen. But however, I contributed. Uh, it's, it's like I stood by to let things happen. I allow things to happen rather than being the active creator of my own reality and really look at what it is that is within your own thinking, within your own beliefs that's contributing to that. So when you look at it that way is to um, start to clear out any thought patterns that you have allowed to tick space up in your in your mind because what you allowed in what you focus on even if you resist something you are still focusing on something you're still allowing it to exist in, in your reality um, whatever you resist persists so the idea is that you need to look at <clears throat> not just what it is that you you want to have happen is what it is that you're resisting and when you let go of resisting something, then and um, really get clear on uh, clearing your own emotions and all of that, then you can become the the clear, the clear and uh, potent creator of your own life. So choose choose to create the reality that you love to experience so at all times choose to create the reality that you love to experience for example um why i mentioned about you know the the fire in the house so you have to look at all the reasons why and another reason is for example i can um think of things like um for example, we are all, um, we talked about, you know, save the children, how, how the, the, the people, the, the, uh, a lot of kids, young children are being trafficked for whatever reasons. Um, so why is that so? So you have, we, in, to just look at it, just, just, um, is to, think of what is in our collective thinking that is really contributing to this. Um, there are some is that we, as a society, we, we don't um, take responsibility for our children. We think that because that, that child is not mine, uh, does not bear my family name, though, so that's why, um, well, that, that child is not my concern. And we don't, we, we kind of um, turn a blind eye to that when we, we always only focus on what it is that is mine and not really take responsibility for things that we don't think of as um, ours for whatever reasons. So that's one way of thinking. Then you have to start to challenge that way of thinking and really start to think of in terms of as a society is how can we um what can we do to going forward to to start to make it so that things like that cannot happen um in the shadow anymore so that's really taking responsibility is to let go of the um, this, well, this is not my child, it's not my responsibility kind of mentality. And also all the other things is, is also the, um, the lack of funding, the lack of, of um, support for families so that they can look after their, their children in a way. So all these uh, family support those are the the things that we have to really put more um thoughts into it and also the thought of 
how come we have to work so hard where, you know, not just one parent, but both parents have to be working full time in order to, um, you know, the, afford this you know, house that is big enough. And, and, and so this about money, finance as well, all those things that is contributing to the, the, um, the, the problem that we have in our hands. So it's not just each one of us is, has to look at those things. What is our responsibility for creating a, a world that, that um, where children will not be trafficked anymore? And also um, thinking of a different society structure so that these there will be more support for children. So all of these things has to be we, I would say, um, we we think again, and all of that. So it's a lot of rethinking, and that's why taking responsibility is not an easy solution. And that's why it's not um, something that we would jump at and say, oh, this is fun, let's, you know, let's take more responsibility. It's not, the, not always the most fun things to do, to take responsibility. However, if our intention is to live in a, uh, a peaceful and supportive society, then it is something that we each of us has to start to take um, a step in that responsibility. It's taking that responsibility and not trying to just look at our own. So that's really one of the, the, um, the simple habits is to take responsibility and really be responsible for everything that happened in your reality, anything that happens for you to see, whether it is for you to see um, with your eyes or for you to see on the television or for you to, to learn from someone else, from someone else telling you a story. So if you, if it's in your consciousness, then it's your responsibility. And taking responsibility does not mean that it's your fault. You don't have to feel like, oh, you did something wrong or that you are being punished. Um, Any way, it's not about the, the um, so let go of all that negativity that's, that's associated with responsibility. It's really about being in the creator role of your life. That's what responsibility is. It's about letting go of any judgment. Um, it's, yes, um, all these things happening. It's, it's not just one person's fault. I am pretty sure it's not just one person's fault. It's not just two person's fault. It's not, it's, it's not about, oh, this one person is evil. That's why they're doing all this. No, it's when something that is happening on such a scale on the big enough scale, it's not the, it's not the responsibility or not the fault of one person. It is really everyone has a role to play in it. And so responsibility is each one of us to start to take on that role of being our own, being the creator of our own reality. And and really go inside and let go of the judgment, let go, go of pointing fingers and really start to think of what is the best thing that we can do right now and take one step. Do what it is that is within, within, your, own response, within your own responsibility, within your own ability to be able to take maybe all you can do right now is simply to um, share this on Facebook or really is to 
um, maybe donate some money for someone to organization that uh, that is actually taking an, a more active role in preventing um, things that don't that really do, you don't want to happen in your reality. So there is no one um, way that is, there's no one action. There's no one right action that for everyone. Everyone would have to take responsibility for whatever it is that happens in their reality. And also after they, after we each have you know, let go of all the judgment and let go of um, thinking, like the, the kind of thinking that is say, oh, I'm just one person, what can I do? Um, one person, if every one person do a little bit, then that accumulates to being a lot of something. So it takes one person and that person has to be you. I mean, we each of us has to do our part in, at the very least, understanding that we are all responsible for what hap whatever happens in our reality and start to um, process all the thinking that, you know, uh, it's bigger than us and there's nothing we can do because it is your reality. You're the one that is allowing all of the, um, you're allowing people to, for example, um, traffic children or do other things that you don't desire in your reality, then, then on a individual level is to start to not, um, like not allow that to happen anymore. So not allow meaning not to judge because if you resist, you, you're still holding on to the vibration. You're still not, not letting go of it. Is to, without judging, without resisting, to simply um, process all of your own um, resistance, uh, all of your own guilt, whatever it is, any kind of um, emotions, and then when you're in neutrality is to choose the reality that you really love to experience and focus on what you want. And when each of us do that, then the reality will start to, um, the vibration of, of our, all of our reality will start to rise because when we each become the creator of our own reality. We not um, allowing someone else to push their agenda on us. Then that is our consciousness really rising and growing. When we grow our own consciousness, then our light becomes brighter. And when each of us shine our light, then negativity really has no place in it anymore. So that's all I have to say about what taking responsibility really entails in the area of um, growing consciousness. <laughs>